afternoon, good, good evening everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Estine Delight. Today we want to show you how to cook each CAU. Then the ingredients I'm going to use for today includes my fresh pepper. My periwinkle. Remember, some weeks ago we showed you how to wash periwinkle. So this one has passed through that process and it's ready for, for our meals today. So I'm going to use it for my ECAO. Inside here I have my no cube, my potash, ewuru. Is a spice that is used in preparing the COO. Then I also have my salt. Inside here, I have Ogba, known, uh, basically known by the Igbos as Ogba, but to Calabas is known as Okana. Then this is my goat meat not yet cooked then i also have my onions if you notice i cut it into two different sizes the round shape this one i will use it after preparing my seo then this one i will use it for seasoning my goat head then i also have my tazi leaf it has been washed and sliced Herein is my palm oil. Then finally, I have my stable pot. So, I'll first of all start by seasoning my goat meat head. Inside my pot, I'll pour it. Then, I put in my seasoning cube another thing is my fresh pepper please remember the quantity of your fresh pepper determines depends on the quantity of your goat's head and how well you prepare your, prepare your pepper if you want much of it you can increase it but if you want less it all depends on what you want so i now use my onions at this point i'll mix it together i'll mix it thoroughly together i add my salt for test then at this point at this point i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook. At this point, it's 10 minutes cooked. So let us see. As you can see, it is not yet cooked. It's not well cooked. But I'll add up my periwinkle so that it will, it will be cooked. It will get cooked alongside the goat meat. Then I'll also add my uba. Why I'm adding it at this stage is my client insisted I should cook it very well. I should make sure it's properly cooked. So that's why I'm adding it at this stage. I'll also I'll cover it again and wait for another 10 minutes. This is exactly 10 minutes after. So, my goat meat is properly cooked. So at this point, I'll set it aside. And I'll put, put an empty pot. I'll make sure my pot is dry.
as you can see my pot is dry okay it's not yet properly dried okay my pot is dry and this is my oil I'll pour my oil inside my pot then remember I have my potash here and I also have my air wool so I'm going to put the two inside my pot while I stay it very well can you observe the change in color what causes the change is the potash I see we are here to add a little of it stay it until it dissolves completely Continue to stay until it dissolves completely. Then I will now pour it inside my goat head that has been properly cooked. Then give it a thorough mix. As you can see, my shewu is ready, but I'll st I still have one or two things to add. My final ingredient is my otazi. I'll put it and give it a color mix. So my shewu is ready. Have you seen the thickness of the water? The oil inside the periwinkle. Everything at this point is ready. So what I need to do next is to dish it inside my shewu pot. Wow, the aroma alone is something else. Please, if you love what I do and you would like to see us again, on, please subscribe to my channel, like my page, follow us on Instagram, and share to all your friends and your neighbors so that they too will join us when next we come online so at this point my show is ready so i'll still need to put in another pot So, if you test this, I'm very sure you won't want to go back. You want to test more and more and more of it. So, my issue is ready at this point. 
So this is the finishing of my shewu. Very delicious. And me looking at it, you love it. So if you would like to see us next time, please subscribe to my channel. Follow us on Instagram, like my Facebook page, as well as share it to your friends and neighbors. At this point, we've come to the end of our, today's video. Thank you very much for coming online, and we love you. Bye.